It's a beautiful morning in Cota de Casa, Orange County, and today we're going to visit this plant. This is a sacred datura. It's very interesting, very pretty, but also very deadly. Now there are about nine different species of datura. They're spread across the world. All these more or less look alike, and they're very poisonous, and they're very hallucinogenic. Now ours is called the Datura ridei. It's named after the 19th century Texas botanist Charles Wright in 1859. Now this plant originated in Mexico and today is found in northern Mexico, the border states, and up to southern Utah. It's very abundant in Southern California. Also goes by the name of thorn apple, hairy thorn apple, western jimson weed, and moonflower. Now the settlers of California they called this Indian whiskey because the Native Americans, they use this for intoxicating rituals. In Mexico, it's called Toluacha and Toluache. Now in Coto, we find this in our parks, along the sides of the trails, up on the eastern ridge, and scattered in areas throughout our golf course. Here's our sacred datura on the bend around hole 16 south. Looks pretty good. All right. And here we have a batch of Datura over by the 12th tee box. And looks like the flowers are up. This plant typically grows about ankle height to three feet high. It's a perennial. So it may shed its leaves and die back in return each year. Here is a very young plant. And here is one that's a little bit older. You can see the flowers that are forming on the top here. This plant is very recognizable by these big white flowers. Now these only open at night and in the early morning. Then they close up during the day during the direct sunshine, and that's how it gets its name, Moonflower. At night, it's visited by night moths, and even, I understand, bats visit this plant. Now, the flower, these flowers have five notable teeth on the end. So you see this is called a tooth, and there's five of them on these flowers. That's how you recognize them. This one plant is just loaded with flowers. Here's a flower with a bee. Now this flower is already bloomed and it died back. These flower buds are flower sheaths are empty right now. All right. This one here, he's ready to open up. The leaves here are very broad at the base and they taper up through these pointed lobes to the tip. And the younger ones here have the same shape, they're just a little thinner. And we'll call this one a teenager who is a little bit bigger. And here we have another bee. So let's talk about some of the toxicity and medicinal properties of this plant. So the deterras, all of them, they contain dangerous levels of anticholinergic tropane alkaloids and just eating one leaf may be fatal to humans, livestock, or even pets. For our sacred datura, the roots are also considered the most potent part of the plant. Now, medicinally, the Pueblo Indians of New Mexico used the powdered root as an anesthetic and a narcotic during surgery. They also applied the mixture of the root and flowers to wounds to promote healing. In Southern California, Datura was considered sacred and used by Native Americans during religious and rites of passage rituals due to its hallucinogenic effects. Now today, some lunatics, they will eat this like LSD to induce uh, hallucinations for recreational purposes. Now the onset of the illusions is very slow and the effects can last for several days and even weeks. So now what happens when you eat this plant? The leaves or the roots? Well first you get dry mouth, then 
hypothermia. Profuse sweating followed by decreased sweating. You get impairment and drowsiness. You get restlessness, lethargy, illusions, changes in visual perception, delirium, psychosis, and amnesia, seizures, your fever gets as high as 109 degrees Fahrenheit, eventually you become blind, and finally you die due to respiratory depression. So don't eat this plant. Now you'll also find a different species of Datura called Datura strabonium. And this grows in the Midwest and back East all along the roadsides across pastures of North America. Now it goes by the name of Jimson Weed, Devil's Trumpet, Thorn Apple, Stink Weed, Devil's Weed, and Hell's Bells. But don't call Sacred Datura, our Sacred Datura, those nicknames. I've heard that a lot where they'll call this Jimson Weed when in fact this is called Western Jimson Weed. It's a very different plant altogether. So I hope you enjoyed our quick chat about Sacred Datura. And if you find it, please don't eat it. And please don't let your children eat it as well. All right. Have a great day.